use um, life the same or, or performance the same. I do believe when you're just dealing with the act of making contact and creating a, a result in ball flight, then there are certain um, elements that we all need to uh, abide by uh, regardless of who we are, where we live. So those things should be easy to get past. Um, as it relates to some of the cultural challenges uh, or the expectations associated with with performance, just from my perspective, you know, we're dealing with that aspect of conditioning. We've been conditioned to um, believe things um, in some cases that simply simply aren't true. So one of the things that I said to uh, someone who asked me this question yesterday was that, you know, at the at the base level, uh, from a mindset perspective, um, for someone that is uh, traditionally conditioned to be a little bit uh, negative uh, relative to some of the performance-based attributes, um, I would simply start at the baseline of asking them the question, do you believe that people are at their best when they feel their best? And I think you know, regardless of, of who you are, where you're from, that answer is going to, to be yes. You know, so uh, if that's the case, then, then what can we start doing right now just through changing our attitude a little bit to elevate our mood and start feeling better because it's going to serve you both on and off the golf course. And I think that once you have that experience and you start to see a result internally, um, then you want to experience more and you start to open up your mind to new ideas. And I think that that's how you start to, to grow. So I can be a uh, fairly stubborn and intolerant person just as a, as a character trait. And so to say that there are certain cultural um, challenges that you face, I do recognize those and empathize with those, but I think there certainly we have the ability to overcome those and we overcome those through education to realities that um, uh, aren't necessarily existing in a person's mind and that's that um, breaking that barrier of thought concept. Uh, we educate, uh, we, we, we change that culture through motivation and all that comes out through conversation. So outside of a very specific example, that's what I would start with. I would start with understanding, filling knowledge gaps and providing motivation that just comes through experiencing a relationship with it, be whether it be an individual or the collective group that's supporting an individual. And, and my answer would be very much in uh, line with Cameron's. To me, even though you have maybe a basis for what you believe technically or how to get the most out of a, a player, the reality is you need to form a personal relationship. You need to be all in. You need to be hugging your player. It's not what, what the player can do for you. It's what you can do for them. And so, therefore, having a one-on-one, -on -one in-depth, personal relationship with them. I can't tell you to how many high school graduations I've been to children of the people I give lessons to or helping them in some form or fashion off the golf course. And so when you really dive deep and, and invest emotionally with someone, uh, those barriers not only tend to diminish, but also you get to know them to the point where you can communicate and know what buttons to push within the context of, of their, their culture. <laughs>